Our paper TechNet is about the design, training, implementation, and application of a multitask learning CNN for off-screen mobile input. My name is Michael, and this is a collaboration work with Yang, Nasni, Alex, and Shumin. TabNet is a multitask network learns from course device data. It has multiple input branch, each of which accept data from one specific device. The multi-branch architecture enables the joint learning using cost device data. TabNet is also a multitask network and each output branch recognizes one tab property, including tab direction, finger parts, and location. This multi-output architecture allows for the understanding of the interrelationship among multiple tab properties. And here is a demonstration of that about the tab net results. The heat map indicates the tab location. The color it denotes the tab direction, green for back, red for front, and blue for side tabs. The texture here shows the finger parts, and the dotted pattern indicates the tapping using fingernail, and the non-dotted pattern shows the tap with finger pad. And here is a glance at the accuracy and sensitivity. TabNet achieved roughly one tenth of the screen diagonal for tab location estimation. Gentle tabs can be recognized. We also include diverse non-tab motion in training. As such, TabNet can distinguish tab event from motion, such as tab release, phone shaking, etc. This is the TabNet pipeline. Its input include IMU signals and device vector. And the device vector here indicates the IMU install location as well as the phone size. The core of the TabNet is a multi-layer convolutional uh, neural network. It has multiple uh, convolutional layer max pooling, and for each branch output branch, it has uh, multiple fully connected layers, and each branch is specific for one recognition task, including tab event detection, tab direction classification, finger part classification, and tab location classification, as well as uh, location regression. And we take turn to train these two parts of the uh, tab net. For the tab property recognition branches, we use the diverse tapping action with annotation about the direction, location, and tab finger parts for chaining. And for the tap event detection branch, we use the both tap data as well as the non-tap data for training. We collect a one-person training data set, meaning that the tap net is trained on the data from only a single person. And then we collected a multi-person test set. So our model is evaluated on multiple person we use weighted average F1 score to measure the classification tasks. We use mean absolute error and R square to measure the accuracy of the regression tasks. TabNet can either perform on par with or outperform the prior odds. A close examination of the normalized confusion matrix of the 35 class tab location classification shows that neighboring region above or below the target has an index of offset five. And the three parallel lines here along the diagonal indicate the tab net either predict correctly or to uh, nearby regions. There are a few takeaway message from uh, this paper. For example, the training strategy using one person data can be effective for gesture recognition system. Multitask learning can be more data efficient in our task, in particular when there is only limited amounts of training data. And cost device training with the phone, different phone factors increase the efficiency of data utilization. We also see that the one-channel CNN can achieve cross-channel signal alignment more efficiently than it, its multi-channel counterpart. And also, many off-screen applications can be promising and full of potential. Please refer to our paper for more details. Thank you.